Brian Minor Gig Log Episode 8. I know these things are silly, right? Yeah. Well, thanks for being here anyway. Got four shows we're going to talk about. As a matter of fact, I have another gig coming up tomorrow night. But I thought I'd get this one finished real quick. I got all of my footage compiled together. And I'm ready to uh, just talk about it. So, first of all, first question I had, though, uh, a couple weeks ago. Somebody asked me what gear I use. And the beginning of this video is a picture of everything I take on the road uh, when I play shows. This, these two guitars right here, a pedal bag and a guitar stand and my luggage that's it so the first show was in wisconsin and the drive up to wisconsin was beautiful so i made a little compilation video of some of the stuff i saw driving up i thought it looked pretty cool pretty cool scenery and we're gonna listen to one of my songs i wrote a while ago called joyride so enjoy and i'll see you after the drive up and we get to the sweet water in wisconsin so here we go It's hard to smile And sometimes it's hard to frown And sometimes it's all going up And sometimes it's coming down So don't ask me where I've been on this joyride Don't ask me where I've been
Who's that jackass? <laughs> we loaded it a different way. This thing's cute. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks a lot. <laughs> wow. Kevin, this is Brian. <laughs> Very cool. What's happening? Right on, man. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, oh, that's beautiful out there. All right, so we get to Sweetwater. The drive up was beautiful. Uh, that's one of my favorite things about doing this is the the traveling, you know, sometimes. I mean, it's going to get old after a while, I'm sure. But uh, right now, it's just nice to get out and, and uh, see some scenery and go play shows. Now, we were at the top of Wisconsin. I mean, we're really north. So the trees are really dense. And, and it's odd because the, the trees and the forests are a little bit different the more north you get. Like the trees, they seem skinnier, but they're so dense and they're tall. They're really tall and skinny, but there's so many of them. And I'm like, okay, aren't there bears up here? And sure shit, I asked the, the people that ran the place. By the way, in that video, that was the owner of Sweetwater, uh, Kevin. And, and he said that, yeah, you can see black bears up here. And I said, aren't they dangerous? He said, as long as you don't get between them and their cubs, they're completely harmless. And you, if you see one, you're lucky. But, you know, it's it's normal to see a black bear up in that neighborhood. So, <clears throat> for me, that would be awesome. So, Bobby, the drummer, and I are both like, man, I would love to see a black bear. Very cool. So, we're at Sweetwater. Showtime is at 930, I think. And we're just getting settled in, getting set up. I've never been here before, so this is all new to me. We're going to be staying in a cabin. Uh, so here we go. Let's get back to it. All right. So this is kind of like a panoramic of what's out the back of the, the bar here. So that's our cabin there by that red truck right back there. That's the cabin we're staying in. And that is, um, God, what lake is that? What do they call that? It was Duck Lake. That's Duck Lake back there. Here's our cabin, my shadow. All right, let's come in here. Here's my room, but I can't go in there right now. Okay, so as you heard, I said that's my room, but I can't go in there right now. That is because everybody, as you see, is taking a nap, and Wyatt and his girlfriend are napping in that room and i i was supposed to stay there's two beds in that room and i was supposed to stay on the other bed uh but i'm by myself on this trip i don't have my wife with me so i didn't feel comfortable being in their room right it's just out of respect that i just let them have the room and i'll sleep on the couch or something so that's why i said okay, i'm not staying in there they begged me like stay in here come on this is your bed i'm like no you guys can have the room so that's that's why i said that and as you can tell, we're huge partiers taking a nap. Living room. Kitchen with a little bar area. And here's our deck. <laughs> I'm pausing it here real quick because okay the reason i thought that was pretty cool to like show what i got on the menu and then zoom into it zoom back out i'm not trying to be all artistic and shit but anyway i thought that was neat looks like a pbs special or something with a guitar in the background anyway <clears throat> maybe my other calling should have been making uh, public access stupid documentaries but anyway they had them little you see them little baked potatoes right they're tiny baked potatoes and 
They're so good, man. These things, you, you they bring you sour cream or whatever, and then you just dip them in the thing and eat them like they're French fries, but they're little baked potatoes. So good, man. I, I loved them. I asked for a little bowl of cheese with them. Killer. This was a great burger right here. This this place had great food, and we were welcome to anything on the menu. The owners of this place were so, so cool. We paid for nothing. Everything was taken care of. So this is what I had the first night. Here we go. Tell you that the mosquitoes are fucking they're out wow look at those lights over there. cool bobby God, big man. rock show is about to happen <laughs> oh dude the last time we were here it's horrible two foot of snow on the ground and this is this whole thing walking to the cabin pure ice so if you didn't watch every step you took you're you're on your ass bunch of snowmobiles out there too oh god yeah there we go the whole lake Completely frozen, people snowmobiling on it. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't look like there's very many people here, Bobby. Yeah, no. We're gonna get a good rehearsal then. Yeah. I don't mind getting a paid rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> So you got to understand, that's Bobby Boyd right there. Don't let anybody fool you. He is the star of the show. He's the greatest. I mean, let's let's think about this. He was the original drummer in Len Allen back in 1983 or whatever i mean this dude's been around and to be in a band with this guy is a blessing because he's hilarious first of all uh and just such a great guy again so blessed to be in this group and having this much fun so bobby boyd so here's our first set friday night i think there's maybe 10 people in the room sitting at tables it gets better though so here's here's the first set I'm putting this footage in here because I find this to be fascinating. Okay, so since I'm not drinking, I've noticed that uh, it's fun to watch people in the bar early on. Like, so when they first come in, the girls, you know, makeup's all done, their hair's done good, and they look different. And then as the night wears on, you can see their makeup wearing off, the hair getting stringier, and everybody's starting to yell, and they're getting uglier. It's great to watch, okay? So... Being a sober person in a bar like this is interesting. It's interesting to watch the, I don't know if it's like the culture or nature of people in a bar with alcohol and how it proceeds to chaos very quickly. So that's why I'm showing a lot of this stuff. <laughs> and by the way, them lights behind me, when it shows uh, me playing and the lights are, look at the you know searching lights or whatever behind me, Roger Emming brings them things. And I'm, I'm here to tell you, if you, if you wonder if they put off any heat, the answer is yes. It feels like the sun is shining on your back. If one stops and just hits you right in the back, you'll feel it. You'll feel it. So here we go. Second set. All right, so this is the next morning here. Don't ask me where I'm going. There's no sleeping. Good morning. I need to get some coffee in the morning. It's always an adventure to find out where some coffee's at. 
Here's our trailer. I didn't get much sleep last night. It wasn't because I was partying. It's because our drummer snores like crazy. Everybody in this band snores. It's just he was the closest one that I could hear. I probably snore. But I don't think I was keeping anybody up. <laughs> Sweetwater, Wisconsin. Hey. There's a gas station over here. Gonna see if I can find some decent coffee here. Morning adventure. What time is it here? Like 7? 7 7.20? I don't know. I'm up. Can't sleep. I need coffee. Success. And uh, I was asking people where I should get coffee last night. Because like, I worry about that because I'm old. And old people like me, you know, you start thinking ahead. What am I going to do the next day? You know, when I need coffee. Because old people don't survive without coffee. But it's going to work. Wild Eagle Corner Store here. You see, read the sign here. Chainsaw supplies. These people live different up here because very thick woods. I would imagine that, you know, you need coffee. And, hey, hey, Dilbert, go get another chain for the chainsaw. That tree's not going to move itself. Kind of thing, you know. As I'm talking to myself over here and all these locals are like, what the fuck is that guy doing? This is a cool place. The people up here were really nice so far. Although, there was one fight last night and it was because some dude was standing, from what I gather, I didn't see it. I just heard the boots like hitting, you know how you just hear the scuffle, like the boots are hitting the floor. And then you see people holding each other, you know, or holding each other back or whatever. Can't talk in the morning sometimes. Uh, <clears throat> didn't see it, but I think some guy got deep pants. One dude walked up to another one and just pulled his pants down. And then that, I guess they want to fight over that. <clears throat> anyway, Sweetwater, Wisconsin. <sighs> Nobody's up but me, I don't think. This whole not drinking thing makes it possible so that you can actually see things happen, you know, and be out here before the critters. This is what I rode up in. This thing gets 82,000 miles per gallon. Shouldn't complain. The local said I wasn't going to get any good coffee unless I drove into town. This is this is good walking distance coffee. You know, if you want to rate it on a scale from how far away is it. Uh, this was next door, so I give it a nine for being so close. It doesn't taste that good, but it's a nine for just I had within reaching distance. I didn't have to get in a car and drive. Oh, look at that. A family of ducks there. All right, I know <clears throat> this isn't very rock and roll or whatever, but look, I'm 50 years old. I am, um, you know, my heroes all would be drunk and partying or whatever, but, you know, I've come to realize that the gift that I've been given being in this band isn't isn't anything to do with that. It's, it's about living life, and, you know, this might be my last hurrah of even being in a band or doing anything like this, so... To be able to go up to Sweetwater, uh, Eagle River, Eagle Ridge, whatever this place is in Wisconsin, and, and uh, be paid to basically be on vacation, you know, to walk out to the dock. That was so peaceful out there with the, the ducks and stuff. You know, it's, it's a break from life. I go play some country rock songs and get paid good, eat well, make new friends. These people are great, okay? Everybody up north was super courteous. You know, when you're trying to slide between people, like trying to get to the restroom or something, and, you know, you're like, oh, excuse me. They're always like, oh, no, no problem. It, there's no, I didn't, I didn't run into anything crazy like that to where people were just like jerks or anything. So, yeah, I'm going to take the sunglasses off in a minute. It's just right now, I don't know. I'm feeling cool. I can see myself on the screen right there, and I feel like I look cool, like I'm like the bass player of Skid Row or something. Anyway, this is goofy. Let's look at these ducks. Don't be scared, man. I'm not going to do nothing to you. All right. Wow. Beautiful. Folks, I don't know why it is, but I walked here holding on to my phone 
with no fear of dropping it. As soon as I got on this dock, my hands started feeling weird. Like I just want to throw my phone in the water. It's freaking me out. All right. Oh my God. So cool. Gorgeous. All right, Bobby, you're inspiring me. I'm taking my shirt off too. Oh, yeah. But I'm white. I, I, I have a phone in my, you want me to hold? Here. All right, so the owner said, hey, you guys want to go eat uh, to go have lunch or whatever. And of course, I'm like, yeah, sure. So I thought we were getting in this boat to go across the lake because I didn't know how where we were, right? So I didn't know that that lake was just part of like a hundred other lakes. And they said, let's go. And they pointed like over there, let's go over there and let's go have lunch. So I'm thinking, okay, 10 minutes, we'll be across this lake and we'll be eating, right? So wrong, okay? So I didn't bring any sunscreen, nothing. So I get on this damn boat, pontoon boat, or a tritune is what they call it. I've learned a lot about pontoons since I was there. We get on this tritune boat and we go. And then pretty soon it's 30 minutes later, 40 minutes later, and we're still not to this restaurant, but we're seeing some of the coolest things. So many beautiful lake houses. Everybody out there was having a great time. But uh, I got sunburnt. But this is what our trip looked like, okay? So that's what I'm showing you here. And I'm going to let it run for a little bit. the singer lounge over there <laughs> singer lounge. right here it really is this is the green room <laughs> Rahu. Exactly. Rahu. Wow. Exactly. where are we at now what lake is this eagle eagle, eagle lake that's the name jim rome So that's where the omen was filmed? Yeah, dude. 15 grand a week. Yeah, they have a nicer boathouse than my house. Look at that boathouse, dude. Well, if we had somebody that knew how to book gigs, that would have been happening. You know anybody? That's a lot of fun. That is neat. That's it's like something out of like a Disney movie. I think so. That'll work. Yeah. 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 I'm busting in here real quick because that's the Bray Burger or whatever, and that was the Braywood restaurant, right? Something like that. Anyway, 
Uh, that burger, I- I'm just going to put it like it. That was gross. It was gross. It wasn't made very well. Now, we had some other stuff with it, like cheese curds and another little cheese piece of the delicious. For some reason, everybody else's burger, I looked because I was watching them eat it and everybody's burger was cooked, right? A little pink, little pink. Mine, I took a bite of my, it was raw. It was raw. Like that burger right there that you see, they threw it on the griddle and then flipped it and then put it on the bun. Like literally like flipped it, put it on the bun. I swear it was raw. And I I don't know if they, it was an oversight because everybody else's burger was cooked perfectly. It looked like, but mine just was raw and it was gross. So I like mine a little pink. I have to fight with my wife about that. Like, Hey, my wife's like, Hey, there's some pink in this burger that's not done. I'm like, honey, that's what they're supposed to be like. So I argue about it all the time. So for a burger to be too raw for me, uh, that sucks. There were the cheese balls. Oh, ooh, ooh, and the bacon wrap. And the bacon wrapped shrimp. Don't don't sleep on the bacon wrapped shrimp. I don't even like shrimp, but they look delicious, and I bet they were killer. And them cheese curds are from Wisconsin, so that's a little different. And the cheese pizza, it was delicious. Great time. I just can't believe these accommodations for the bands these days. What the hell? We can all go there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, that's no. Her parents live right there. So that's the Coleman camping products. Where they live. So every time you buy a sleeping bag, a sleeping bag or a cooler, yeah. <laughs> what's the White House? That's their groundskeeper's house. The groundskeeper's house is next door. Back. Is that just one of their houses, or yeah? In the future, we communicate with you. All right, so this house up here. Woo-hoo. Is a defensive end for the Giants? Does he play anymore? Yeah, he's still playing. Okay, defensive end for the uh, New York Giants. He still plays. What's his first name? Kevin. You think it's Kevin? Yeah. All right, so Kevin from the New York Giants. That's his place here along the lake. What lake is this? Uh, one of them. Lake Robert Richard. Leaving yellow birds. Yeah, this is the yellow birds. All right. So anyway, that's a NFL. That's what happens when you can uh, play NFL football. You get to have a. Uh, a vacation home like that all right so that boat ride was awesome thank you very much to the owners of sweet sweetwater for taking us out like i said i learned a lot about boats on this trip i'm somebody that i live by simple means you know i don't i don't have campers vacation homes boats things like this sports cars whatever I'm, i'm very practical when it comes to what i have but uh i always thought if you were to ask me okay how much do you think a pontoon costs and I see the pontoon boats where, you know, like what we were on. It's just a boat out there on the water and people partying on it. I would probably guess and say, I don't know, ten, fifteen thousand. 15,000. I mean, it's basically just two floats and a flat deck with a rail around it. I don't know, and an engine. I, I'm, I'm guess I don't know, 15,000, 20 at the top. Uh, come to find out, them things are $50,000, okay? That one we were on was $50,000 boat. And... I'm like, well, I guess that's why I don't have anything like that because I couldn't afford it. $50,000 for something that you just play with? I don't know. Anyway, these people live different up there. And it was eye-opening to see how many people live different. They're not even there. Uh, They were telling me that during the 4th of July weekend, their little airport up there is just packed with private jets of people that fly in just to stay a couple weeks at their vacation home. You know, and then in the wintertime, they split... So they're, they're not even there, but a few weeks a year along the lake there. So it's just a different life, a different level of uh, money up there. All right. So getting back to the video here.
All right, dude just did a beer bong on stage or whatever. One interesting thing about Saturday night there was uh, we didn't know this at the time, but uh, there were apparently, I th- would they say like six or seven uh, Miami Dolphin football players that were there. I know that there was a lot of guys. I, I remember seeing a lot of guys on one side over there on Jerry's side, and they were s- partying hard i mean cha- like stomping and, and just partying i didn't you know I, I i knew that they were all kind of bigger dudes and in shape whatever i'm thinking okay this must be what this town is like it's just a whole bunch of very well maintained big boys anyway uh come to find out they were all miami dolphins and one of the players lives in sweetwater and is having his bachelor party and they're just having a good time that weekend. The the guy's dad was there, and he was saying, "Yeah, these are all them guys were all from the Miami Dolphins." So I didn't know it at the time. Good thing because I'm a football nerd. I would have bothered him. I'd have been like, "Dude, let's talk." But it, it, you know, they didn't want they wanted to drink beer and get crazy. So anyway, that was pretty cool. Hey, have you checked out the Bucktail? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just waiting for you guys to start making out again because that's all they ever fucking do. See? Can't even hang out with my fucking singer. I'm so in love. Gross. Alright. Alright. All right, well, it's, uh, yeah, that's a lot of, well, it's, uh, is it Sunday? What fuck day is it? I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, I don't have a lot to say, okay? Sweetwater, Saturday or Sunday morning. Fuck. It's Sunday, uh, road road time, going back home. We should uh, be back to Quad Cities at some point, playing Go Fish, uh, Princeton, Princeton, Iowa, playing Go Fish at five. And then, uh, I don't know. Jesus. <laughs> it's beautiful out here, but hurt. Hurt. Sun is hot. And, uh, spent a lot of time in it yesterday.
so fun. Whew. Idea, Bobby. What's the fucking rush? <laughs> Okay, so now at this point, it's Sunday. I've slept since arriving there Friday. I've slept probably a total of, and this is no exaggeration, uh, probably a total of three hours because the first night you get done at one o'clock, you don't get settled down until two or three, and then I couldn't sleep for a couple hours because of the snoring. And then I got up at, I wanted to see the sunrise because there's no way I was staying at that place without seeing the sun come up over the trees. And it was just beautiful. You saw that earlier in the video log, but, um, yeah, 6 AM looks beautiful out there with the, the shadows of the trees and the sun coming up over the top. So I wanted to be up Friday, you know, or Saturday morning. And so I did. And then I thought maybe Saturday night I'd get some sleep, but we decided to tear down and load the trailer after the show Saturday. So get done at one. And then we load the trailer. We didn't get done loading the trailer until about three or four. And then, of course, I wanted to belly up to the bar with the boys. And uh, that's all that was left there. And I wanted to have, you know, a little band hangout time that we can all kind of bond. So we were, I didn't leave the bar until five o'clock in the morning. And uh, I walked to my cabin. Well, actually, I walked to the cabin that was not occupied next to our cabin and slept on their bed that nobody was supposed to be sleeping on. Sorry. So I'm, I'm guessing... What I get three hours of sleep the entire weekend, so that's why I'm so tired. Um, uh, and the sun hurt because I was burnt. I was on the boat, so I was fried, man. And I still had another show to play that night, and another one the next day. So, by the way, this gig log is only going to go downhill from here because that was the highlight. Them two shows were the best. Now the rest is kind of strange. I mean, the go fish is interesting, but uh, there's some embarrassing parts also of being in a band. It's not always. Uh, cocaine and hookers you know what i mean so here we go <laughs> i'm fine man i slept i slept in the uh in the building hey, next door you don't sleep do you i slept next door wow yeah i went next door and slept on the sure. bed and then i came over here and slept on the couch for a little while hey, it's all good man i got some no uh, my dumb ass didn't even go to bed last night until five in the morning what yep Hallelujah. all right that's a lie. <laughs> uh, I'm doing up right. You didn't take a nap yesterday. I didn't take a nap at all. I'm burnt, Dude. tired. I mean, <laughs> your red ass off. <laughs> I'm fried, Bobby. Yeah, you are. Oh, the guy's water skiing out there already. What the fuck is this problem? What's the big idea here? <laughs> My eyes are burning, Bobby. Is that normal? Dude, you're you're a bitch. I'm in pain, Bobby. What was I thinking? Exactly. <laughs> Time to hit the road. Six hour drive. Six, six hours. hours. We got Jerry Bear at the wheel. Six hours, five minutes. We'll be in Princeton soon. It's going to be set up and play. Yeah. See you there. Yeah, Zach, I think that's cool. That is cool. Freaking. That's yeah, pretty well. So I finally get back to uh, basically home and I finally get to see my wife and I was happy to see her. She was happy to see me and uh, I had to sneak a little bit of a kiss here. So 
sorry about it if it's gross so i finally get to see my wife and my kids and hey i'm not used to being gone for days at a time so i was glad to be home and see my family again uh, by the way that's uh that's that broasted chicken and them cheeseburgers i ate at uh, Sweetwater that's my stomach sticking out I'm pregnant at that time looks like ha I ate a lot and drank a lot of pop and just was stupid the whole time I was there so I did, you know you don't see yourself that often at that angle from the side like that and I'm noticing on these vlogs that I have a belly and I never thought that I did but apparently I have a belly I'm gonna have to start sucking it in better that's embarrassing anyway here we go The river, lights, and uh, bugs don't mix. They got so thick, man. It was ho I, every. I had to close my mouth. I couldn't hardly sing. I had to sing that song. Last song of the night. Look at all the bugs. That is insane. <laughs> it was so gross, man. Like you wanted to sing, like. Home sweet. It was it was so weird. You wanted to sing with your mouth shut somehow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, because you didn't want to breathe. I had like five of them in my mouth. I was just poof, poof, spitting them left and right. But you know, there's a couple mosquitoes or whatever bugs landing on you. And you're sweaty. It's pretty muggy out. And I have to say, I feel as though I'm a professional because I had two mosquitoes biting me at one time. And you could feel them. You know how when you feel a mosquito laying into you? And you're like, ah, you just want to get it. Well, if you're in the middle of a sweet solo, you know, and, and you can't take your fingers off the fretboard, both of your hands are busy, you just let that mosquito suck your blood. Just let it rip, man. That's a pro right there. I had two of them at the same time. I was trying to shake them off with my shoulder like this, but they weren't going nowhere. And then, you know, it was just horrible. So finally, I'll you know, get the last note, and then like this and the guitars and you're trying to swat bugs and stuff pretty bad right by the river beautiful view uh really fun had a great time that's what it's all about summertime outside the river all that stuff but man the bugs were horrible hey anyway all right so finally i get to play the most embarrassing gig of my life now i was asked during this last gig of this run right here uh, if I've ever played a more embarrassing gig and I said yes, I have played worse because This gig here at Coons Kunez or whatever it is uh, Ford dealership in East Moline It was for the Memorial Day party or whatever they had uh, There was nobody there like literally nobody showed up to this thing and if they did they weren't looking for a band or cared about a band uh, so we had these little makeshift tents you know, it was just, it was the worst of the worst, right? So we're set up out here in the blacktop driveway, heat of the sun. Nobody wants to sit out in the sun. Uh, we go to play this gig. And the reason I say that this is the most embarrassing gig, it actually isn't the most embarrassing gig because I've played gigs similar to this. And what made the other gig more embarrassing is more of my family members showed up to witness it, okay? So my kids are here at this one and they see dad playing you know doing his thing that he does you know every time i leave for the weekend i'm like i'm gonna go play in the band and now they think that this is what dad does on the weekends you know play in a parking lot somewhere to nobody and that's embarrassing but on top of that my sister and my brother-in-law show up and they're they want to see the band and they're the only ones 
that show up. You know, thank you for coming, but embarrassing, right? So uh, the only way it could be more embarrassing if, is if more family members came to see. And that's happened before. I played with Dive Bomb on a trailer in Geneseo one time opening up for Three Years Hollow. And they swore that there'd be people over the horizon at this show. And there was five. And there was a trailer there with one microphone or two microphones or whatever. And guess who showed up at that one? My wife's aunt, my wife's grandma, my wife's grandpa, my wife. All this, oh, Brian's in a band thing. And they got to see Brian in a band out on a trailer in the middle of the sun in a field with a bunch of kids running around. It looked like a birthday party. And I'm up there trying to sing Smooth Up In You. All right. How embarrassing is that? That's more embarrassing than this. Although this one was pretty embarrassing. This is our last show of this run. I'm going to let her play out here. Here we go. Do what it's doing. <laughs> Come on, Zach. You're losing. She's kicking your butt. <laughs> Did you just make a car sound? <laughs> oh, crazy. Hit it. Keep hitting it. All right, this is the coolest part of the whole weekend right here. I mean, playing gigs in Sweetwater, the cabin, the lake, everything. Really cool, really cool. But this was the opportunity of a lifetime for my son. He was there. We had the PA set up in the parking lot, and nobody's there, so it doesn't matter. And Jerry Smith and, and Bobby, they're like, hey, check the drums for us. You know, we want him to hit the drums. And... I'll bet, I don't know, but I'll bet you that hearing the drums through a PA system bouncing off a wall is, you know, probably something floor? you remember. You want floor? Yeah, give me floor. Floor time. All right, play the whole thing. Go for it, bud. Play. There you go. He got to check the drums, and I think that was pretty cool for him. And also, as we were playing, I let him hold the strings down on a couple chords that I was playing on the guitar, and so he got to feel that. And he sat behind me the whole time, and and had, I think he enjoyed himself. He said he wants to do it again. He likes being backstage with the band and stuff. It's pretty cool. So even though we were playing in a parking lot to nobody, my son still thought Dad was cool. And that means everything to me. So, And I was just happy to see them guys and, you know, just this was a special time. Yeah, that was fun. Well, mm -hmm. here. well my brother's here. I want to do the one that has the uh, rat tune, the rat riff in it. Which one's that? Uh, okay. Okay, so right there I just said, hey, while my brother's here, I want to play that one song that has the rat riff in it, which is uh, on awe. It has the da 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 da. But unfortunately, you'll see, maybe if you pay attention to my face here. I didn't know where they were. I saw that my sister and my my brother-in-law were there, but they were there and then they weren't there and I didn't know where they went and I wanted to play this song. So I started the song and guess what? They were gone in the bathroom or somewhere and you'll see me like, where'd they go? So uh, that's what you'll see on my face if you notice that. Uh, but then they finally did show up towards the end of the song and I was finally like, okay, great. But Hunter, I was playing that for you. Uh, thanks for coming again. No city units in East Wallingham are clapping, he gets a clap. Oh, good. Hey, girls, to send a shot with a line. He was dancing there with Darren Hood again on the bike. Walked on the walk, took a turn in her name. Next thing I knew, Missy was up on the stage singing, Hey, it's here on my tales, California. Maybe she didn't fall from boy from South Georgia. I looked over here, guys. But we're playing to see the dog eat the rest of Roger's donuts from yesterday. Oh, shit. Right off the dash. Is that a fact? It is. She liked two of them. That's awesome. I don't think that anybody awesome. wants to see any more of this shit. <laughs> All right, man. That was a long one. I know. <sighs> shit. Four shows in one weekend, and I tried to cram them into the thing. I tried to take as much footage as I can get. 
I'm having a ball doing these gig logs. I'm sorry if I'm just kind of running through stuff, but hey, I'm doing the best I can here with the time that I'm allowed. I also have a family and a company to run, but I'm trying to keep up with these. I'm sorry I haven't gone live in the last couple of weeks. I'll get back to it when I find the time. Uh, like I said, I'm only one person and I'm trying to edit these things and, and, and document it as it goes. And I, I appreciate all two or 300 of you that watch these. Again, it, it's a labor of love. What can I say, man? Thank you for being here. That was Brian Miner Gig Log, Episode 8. We'll see you again next week. Peace. Peace.